Hi friends, good morning. <clears throat> it is very early Thursday morning, Thanksgiving Day in the States, and I just wanted to give a little message to you. I am meeting some friends at a friend's house, and we decided to wake up really early and run a little race this morning. So it's super early and I don't even know if I'll post this video, but we'll just see how it comes out. But I just wanted to share a message of Thanksgiving with you. Friends, when you um, think of being thankful, what are you thankful for? You know, it's very easy to be thankful when things are going well, but what about when things are not going well? I had a really bad week about a week or so ago, a full week of it or more, maybe nine days. And it was really hard for me to be thankful for anything. I had gotten myself into a funk in my mind over something. And I took my eyes off of God and I focused on poor miserable me and I sunk into the pit and it was not fun. And the Bible says that our thankfulness honors God. And you know, you might think, wow, well, you know, God, I, I don't know that I could always be thanking God. Or why do we always have to thank God? But I want to explain something to you. When I was a Jehovah's Witness, I was told that I was told what sin was. Sin was breaking the rules of my religion. Smoking a cigarette or adultery, fornication, right? Those were dis disfellowshipping offenses. But according to the God of the Bible, not being thankful is a sin, right? Because our thankfulness honors God. So when you look at being thankful to God and, and all the times that I'm not thankful to God, I think, well, how could I ever please God? So then I turn to being thankful for what Jesus did for me when he died, when he shed his blood. Because you see, Jesus, what he did, paid for my past, present, and future sins. He said it was finished. He didn't just pay for the sins that I'm committing right now. He paid for all of them. Because if he didn't, then he would have to be sacrificed over and over and over, paid the price for all of my sins. And that's something to be thankful for, friends. Let me explain what being thankful to God can do for us. When I was going through my misery of the past week or so, I was focused on myself, poor miserable me. Sorry, my I'm holding the phone and it's um it's getting heavy. But when I turned my focus on to being thankful to God, the focus on poor miserable me changed. And I became grateful and thankful. It changed my whole demeanor. It didn't change my situation, it changed my attitude. And what was really amazing was I was visiting a friend who had rented a condo on the beach and I had gone there for the sunset. And right after I had pulled out of this funk in my mind, we saw the most amazing sunset that seemed to last for hours. And had I been still in my funk, I would have thought, what a beautiful sunset. But because I was focused on the creator of that sunset, I was grateful and thankful and amazed and in awe of the amazing God who created me and in awe of how he is in control of my life. And I have peace in knowing that 
I'm not in control. So I was able to pull out of my funk, even though my situation has not changed. And be grateful and enjoy this Thanksgiving, which is a wonderful holiday in the States where people eat turkey and ham. And, and what's really sad is it seems that as soon as Thanksgiving Day is finished, people are no longer grateful. But it's having a grateful heart towards God that it's good for us. I was stressed. I had anxiety. I had grief. I had anger when I was in my funk, dragging myself through the pit. But when I focused on God and how thankful I am that I wake up in the morning, that I have friends, rather than focusing on all of the things that I don't have. I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> it's not like I can really rewind it. But it changed everything about me. I walk taller, I stand up straighter, I have a smile on my face. I don't have that that withdrawn look of grief. So anyway, friends, I wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving from the States. Try to keep our focuses off of ourselves. Put them on God, our Creator, and for all the things that He's, he's done for us. And it'll change our our day. It'll change everything about our day, friends. It may not change our situation, but it will change how we view our situations. So anyway, I'm getting ready to run a race. I won't come in first. Probably will come closer to last, but it's all about having fun with my friends. So anyway, friends, have a blessed day. Thanks so much for tuning in. And, um, I'll talk to you soon.